Hey guys, what is up? My name is Eric, also known as Aviator, coming at you live once again from my home here in Central Florida. Now, today, I have not one, but two videos coming for you. This first video is obviously a Forza 4 film. Pretty stoked to share it with you, and I'll explain more about why I'm playing Forza in just a moment. But first, I want to tell you about the next video I have coming a little bit later on today, probably around 3 or 4 in the afternoon Eastern Time. I'm really excited about it because it's an announcement video sharing some really, really cool stuff, plus getting you access on how to play on my new Minecraft server, which is a free server. Huge, huge stuff. Really cool. And I'll share more about that later. However, Forza 4 is a very cool game. It came out yesterday here in the US, coming out on Friday in the UK and the rest of Europe. And I gotta tell you guys, it's my very first Forza game. I've never played Forza before. I'm a total Forza noob, but I'm loving it. Mainly because I'm awful at it, but I really am enjoying my time and having an absolute blast playing the game. I hope that you guys will enjoy watching this first episode of my live comm series playing through the campaign. Again, I will warn you, I'm not very good at the game, but I'm getting better. See, I'm actually flying next weekend to New York City to play with Sandy Ravage at the Hyundai slash Forza 4 slash Microsoft event. And uh, I'm actually a little bit scared because as you guys may or may not know, Sandy Ravage is one of the strongest players on YouTube. Now, mainly he plays Call of Duty, but I have to assume that he has somewhere up his sleeve the ability to play any game in the world and trounce me. Or he'll find some way to pull out a Spaz 12 and shoot me with it during the game. So we'll see. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I'm doing all that I can to get better. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you'll keep your eyes open for my next video a little bit later today. I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? My name is Eric, also known as Aviator, and as you guys can see, the Forza 4 Motorsport demo is out, but just above that, if I close the tray, you'll see this little adventure, and this adventure is a bit different than anything I've ever done before. I'm playing Forza 4 live on my live stream and recording it simply because I want to do something fun, and, uh... I guess that, you know, I, I figured that I have to get good at this game because I'm actually playing it in New York City for a big Forza event in October, or mid middle October, I guess, late October, sometime in there. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to just stream this and have some fun with it, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about it, so I'm going to close the tray, and we'll see what happens. I'm a little bit nervous because I have a feeling I'm going to suck really badly just to start this up, <laughs> but hey, it should be fun, and it should get the job done, and etc., etc. So it's reading, and let's play the game. Bom, bom, bom. <laughs> All right. So uh, my history with driving games is not that of most people's. I have played a ton of Need for Speed Underground, Underground 2, Need for Speed Most Wanted, uh, the old school Need for Speed games. Like, I've played tons of them. But wow. I have my asterisk turned up really loud. That was loud. <laughs> and uh, this is my first Forza game. So we'll see how Forza works for me. I think I played it once at Walmart, like on their little tester things. But <laughs> that's it for me. So uh, I played a little bit of Grand Turismo. I'm trying to think what else I've played racing-wise. Not a lot. I mean, really not a lot. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how this works uh, for my skill level. But yeah, I have raced cars in real life. I've also raced motorcycles in real life uh, quite extensively, I guess, between the two. And uh, between those two, I'm hoping that uh, I'm able to, to do well with this. Let's see. Barely oh. visible. Done. <laughs> All right. Uh, we are an endangered oh, species, be quiet. you and me. We, fans of speed, we Jeremy Clarkson. of power. We lovers of performance and beauty and mechanical soul. There are a few places that welcome us now. We dare not speak of cams or cranks or double wishbones. We fear for our love of roaring V8s oh. and the smell of burnt rubber. We're told to think of economy and the I'm environment, getting a car. not excitement and yeah. enjoyment. I won't say what it is, but I'm, I'm getting In naughty. an age of hybrid <gasps> this and lentilmatic that, we are the odd ones out. Yet there is hope. There is a haven. A place that celebrates speed, grip, gears, and fun. And it's all here <laughs> for you to explore. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so excited now. Sorry, I like that literally. Like I, the hair on my arms is raised. I've got some serious goosebumps going on. Why wasn't that the commercial? That right there would have sold the crap out of that. Like that. Oh my god, so much epic. <sighs> 
All right, so uh, I'm excited about this game already. Jeremy Clarkson is like my hero. The guy is amazing. Top Gear is the greatest show ever made on any kind of television. And this is steering, handbrake, rewind, gas, brake, change views. Pretty simple. Okay, okay. So I'm not using a Connect because I don't have one. I think I might end up getting one just for this game though. I just tried to look with my right hand. Ah! How? <laughs> this is really loud in my ears. I gotta turn it down. I'm gonna pass at least one of these guys. It's gonna happen. Here we go. Oh no! I hit the wall at a Ferrari 458! Ah! Look at this countryside, dude. Oh no, I wasn't supposed to hit him. <laughs> this is bumper cars, right? <laughs> After this race is over, these guys are all gonna beat my butt. Like, I am gonna get my butt beat in real life. Like, you wait. Trying to take the outside line does not work for some reason. Like, as hard as I push, it's just like, no! Gotta follow the line they use, I guess. Which is a bummer, because it totally removes my passing opportunities. Stop breaking into me! I want to hit you, but not that way. <laughs> Take him on the outside, right here. Oh no! <laughs> I just got sandwiched so hard. Oh my lord! I just flew. That was pretty cool. I really want to get past these last two guys. They just don't want to make it easy for me. Ah oh, no! This is bumper cars, right? I'm just gonna ask that one more time. Bumper cars is what we're playing, correct? I'm pretty sure I'd be getting penalties right now, I'm not gonna lie. See, my nature of driving in a situation like that right there is just to take a, uh, a little power slide action going on. Get a little power slide out and just go, ah, get it around. But I won first, so you know what? First place was beast mode, so uh, hooray! <laughs> wow, um... I'm bad. Let's just put it that way. I, I'm bad. <laughs> but as you guys can see, it's uh, it's kind of fun. So that was first race, and uh, I just definitely smacked the crap out of everything. I was also yelling with the microphone because I had this turned up way too loud. Like my ears are bleeding a little bit. I'm like, oh my god. Begin your career so uh, I'm turning your way down now. Car. Hopefully this will save Each my ears. Now I'm going to use the stream, and this is something that uh, a lot of people need to know. Here, let's listen. All right, he just told us that we can buy our first car. I'm gonna ask the stream which car I should use for my first. Now, I'm gonna let you guys know what my preference is. You guys can choose for me. Not that one, no Toyota crap, no Ford crap. It's Citroen or Citroen, Citroens I like. Like Citroens I've always liked, Chevy Spark, no way. Citroen or Vauxhall, ooh, I don't know. Volkswagen Citroen or Vauxhall. You guys decide, you guys decide, I will go for it. You guys tell me, I'm gonna ask the stream right now. Stream is saying, Ooh, VW, Ford, Vauxhall, Vauxhall. Vauxhall seems to be winning right now. All right, we'll go for the Vauxhall. I've never used this, but we're gonna try it, guys. Here we go. Vauxhall it is. All right, so, uh, whew. Oh, everyone's saying VW now. Of course, now they say it after I chose this. Jeez. Here's my beautiful car. And we're gonna go for color now. Let's see, I'm gonna pick my own daggum color. They can't choose that for me. That's an ugly color. Hmm. I'm gonna go blue, because I have a blue car. I'm gonna make a powder blue car. <laughs> yes. Oh, get on my powder blue car level. <laughs> yes, I want this car. Ooh, rah. All right, so uh, we're gonna kick this thing off here now. Select Obviously, we just to get got our right car. On the track. Select a race to get right on the crack. Boom, boom, boom. Go race, upgrade races. Can I race? Can I upgrade? Quick upgrade? Quick upgrade. We'll automatically cut to what upgrades you can afford based on the credit cards. Oh, that sounds cool. I'll do that. Can I do any of those? No, I can't. Uh, 
I don't have enough credits. Yeah, I can't. I don't have enough credits to do to anything. I don't think. Career, Let's go race. Select world tour. Let's see what we can do. Select world tour. World tour. Here we go, guys. Takes you on an expedition of the world's most elite racing circuits in some of the fastest cars available. You begin your career in the amateur division. Here you will compete against subcompact cars in a short five race season. Now we move no, so this to is the Bulgaria test track, a facility dedicated to the testing of cutting edge nice. automotive technology. At each racing circuit, you can choose from several events. Displayed events are suitable for either your current car or cars in your garage. Boom, 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 boom. 50%. I'm going to try this one because I don't know what it is. From We're going to try it. We're going to do it right now. Here we go. Ready? Prior to racing, or simply select start race to get right on the track. Let's do it right now. I'm going to do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how I feel about doing this with a controller. I should probably have a, a, a wheel because I don't know. I feel like that would probably be better. All right, so in this stream, you're telling me that if you go over the line, like over the side of the, the line cutting corners, you get slowed down, which I understand that's the way it is in real life, too. It does slow you down a bit, but uh, <sighs> bummer. All right, so I'll work on not cutting corners. I'll work on, I'll work on being more legitimate, as much as I hate to. You know, I, I want to be, you know, just crazy as all get out, but I guess I won't. Uh, <laughs> Here we go now, starting grid load setup. I can tune the setup. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go stock, bone stock to start, and uh, we'll keep going from here. <clears throat> Uh, I'm like <clears throat> choking on my own on my own life right now too. Oh my car is so beast! Look at that motor of power. Oh, I missed my start. <laughs> I missed the start. Oh my gosh! Worst start ever. I was looking at the stream. No. Oh, don't, come on, get out of my way. Bumper cars. Bumper cars. It's got such a short wheelbase. Like these little cars have such short wheelbase. And when you get tapped, it just wants to spin out. Like right there, really wanted to spin out, which is just trippy. Oh no! Oh no! I got slowed down so much. This is like the slowest driving car in the history. How? I'm doing 38. Tell me that's not kilometers an hour. If I'm doing 40 kilometers an hour, I'm like, yeah, that's like walking speed for the stick. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Oh, bumpers. Car behind, one second. Get on my one second level. Oh, yes! <laughs> you guys don't understand, it feels like I'm driving around a wheelbarrow full of bricks. It's just so slow. It's like, oh. Go, 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 no! He got away from me. I think it's because I gave him that little love tap of power. Love tap of power. Oh, why would you stop right in the middle of the road? You, that guy ran off the road. Okay, these guys are worse than me. They're all gonna get past. Get past. Get past. Get past. Oh, get past again. Get out of my way! Ah! <laughs> all right, we're making it now. We're on lap two. The last next car is a second behind me. As long as I remember to lift off the gas from time to time when necessary, I think I'll be groovy. And this is the time right here. Breaking. Ah, full power. Power. I can go through pit lane and still beat these noobs. Let's go. Break. And go. All right, so I'm getting this down. I'm not really used to the concept of like pulling the trigger at different rates. I'm used to just shooting people on Black Ops <laughs> or Battlefield. The whole concept of like, Using varying degrees of pressure to get success has always been weird for me. I, I don't know. I'll get used to it, I guess, but uh, I'm not great at it. That. that was my biggest challenge with Gran Turismo, too, is trying to uh, to get enough control out of the PS3 controller, because I was always... I, I never had, felt like I had as much control because it has such little throw. I don't know. Here we go! Oh, it's lap three. I thought it was already two lap three. Dang it. Ah. All right, now I'm way ahead. <laughs> I, love, I love the rumble strips. <laughs> the whole car shakes. It's like... <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my gosh. Wow. Alright, so... Let's keep going here. Keeping going. Keeping going. Keeping going. Continue. 
continue. All right, so I got 6,000 credits. Dude, I'm a beast. I got zero damage credits. I don't know how that works, but uh, it sounds cool. <laughs> continue. The music's a little bit, uh, a little bit obnoxious. I'm not gonna lie. It's like. <laughs> All right, we got to run that, guys. We'll be right back with Complete you in just a moment. Complete to circle the globe and test your skill on a variety of tracks from around the world. Now it's off to Road Atlanta, one of America's classic circuits. From additional credits to affinity boosts, each race provides different bonuses for both your car and driver. With each there completed race, Let's keep you going. increase your affinity level I for your car's you manufacturer. As your affinity level car, increases, maybe? you'll receive parts discounts and cash prizes. Alright, can I change cars now? No other eligible cars. How do I just, I wanted I wanted to change my cars set up. I know I have points now. I want to change it up. Ah. Alright, let's keep going. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Pretty excited now. So, running the Voxel Adila again. I don't know how you say Adila, but I'm saying Adila now. And uh, I'm, by the way, for those of you guys who are wondering why I'm a little hyper, uh, I had a giant pumpkin spice latte with breakfast, and now I'm having another pot of coffee because it seemed like a good idea. Because, see, I had a two month old son, as many of you guys know, and I went to bed at 2 30 this morning, and for whatever reason, he decided that he wanted to wake up at, uh, let's see, 4 30 screaming bloody murder. So that wasn't too much fun. Um, <laughs> all right, so this is all stuff I can change. But uh, yeah, I didn't get much sleep last night, so I'm trying to I'm trying to make up for it. Let's just get out of here. I wanted I wanted to add cool new parts, but I guess I can't do that. So, alas and alack, here we go. Let's pwn some noobs, guys. It's time. Yes, burnout for days. <laughs> It's alright, I got off the line not being three seconds behind this time, that's nice. Oh, I am just acing this stuff. Passing through people for days. Taking the inside line. Ah! No! <laughs> this is tough. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna keep pushing, we're keep pushing up the hill here. And we're almost there. No, don't go behind me! No, you jerk! Beanie pants. You deserve that love tap. You deserve it. All right. Give him a little bump, a little bump Rooney. This doesn't, doesn't hurt. Doesn't count. You know. It's like I don't know. It's like that little little love tap you, you give your, uh, your your friends. You know, the punch to the face, the groin. That, that was all. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Don't worry. I'm a little bit confused too. It's okay though, because I'm in second place on my first lap, and that is so much better than my first two races. Like we are doing freaking work right now, comparably. Comparably? Comparably. 76 miles an hour. Oh, I'm getting tweaky. Try to go on the outside right here if I can. Get behind you, get behind you, get behind you. He is .382. And I'm gonna block up the brakes right here. Late break, late break, late break. Oh, yes, get behind me. This is Road Atlanta. If you guys ever have never done racing games before, that's it's actually a great racetrack. Um, on a motorcycle in real life, it's terrifying, just so you guys know, simply because uh, the pavement is choppy, but when you go underneath that bridge right there, there's like you actually can catch air if you're going fast enough, and it is just, it's sketchy, I don't know, like, it, it sketches me out like mad, like mad. So, uh, oh no, ah! <laughs> we off the road. Sorry, they're, they're over a second behind me, I'm on lap two, we're gonna taper this thing down right here, break. Oh, I should've late break the heck out of that, but I didn't. And up the hill. All right, so I'm trying to get used to the idea now of fluctuating power. And I think in Forza, that's going to be like the biggest, most important thing you can do is fluctuate your power in and out of corners, kicking just a tad bit of braking to reset the suspension, and use your power to uh, to keep your, yourself in the green. Now, I don't know if there's a way to turn off these, these cheat codes, these green markers, but they're kind of nice for right now. I'll probably take them off eventually, I suppose, but I'm kind of liking them. I'm kind of digging on it, so. All right, going up the hill, going up the hill. Still going up the hill. And it's actually kind of boring not playing against opponents who are good, because right now I'm just trouncing these dudes. Like, this is easy mode, seriously. We keep going. All right, down the back stretch here. 
tight left hander up here on the head. And we're gonna wait, late break the heck out of it. Late break. And there we go. So we waited the break until it was well into the red that time. I'm gonna try to not to pay any attention to the dots this time, see what I can do. See right there, that's your air. Right there, if you're in a fast car or a motorcycle, you fly right underneath that bridge. It's crazy. All right. See, this game is easy. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I have auto brake on. I don't have auto brake on. I don't think. I don't know how to. Use, I don't know how to change that. So I don't think I have it on. Um, I can check. I suppose. Hmm. Here we go. Here we go. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right. So this music is ridiculous, by the way. It's like. All right, so uh, I gotta change the options because I have all assist on and people are upset at that apparently. So I gotta work on that. But I didn't know. I didn't know. How, how am I supposed this to know these your things? Choice of gift cards. Keep racing here to continue your new cars and earn additional vehicles. Yes. All right, so not the Yaris. Maybe this. That's kind of cool looking. Um, I think I have the Fiat, Mazda. Yeah, the Fiat or the Mazda. Those are, those are my two choices. I think I'm gonna stick with the European cars, maybe? I don't know, I like the Mazdas. I, I used to race a Mazda Miata. I know it's a little bit silly, but I had a silver Mazda Miata and I loved that thing. It was beast mode. So I think I'll probably rock that out. And uh, that sounds like a pretty good end to episode one. To all of you guys who watched this first episode on Aviator uh, or Aviator Daily, I don't know which one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There'll be a little outro for you guys and I'll talk to you all soon. Peace.